All right, what's up, niggas? Let's wrap this bitch up. All right, we finished exactly 162. That's pretty sweet. The Phillies didn't make the playoffs. The Mets didn't make the playoffs. And that was make, making me look smart because uh, I buried them early. I, uh, I uh, put the team into position that needed to be in early. We got the players we needed. We did not wait. Didn't rest on our laurels. None of that shit. Look, the AL East could have been the NL East, but the other teams rest on their laurels. Not us. We ran away with it, baby. I think we, do we keep the Royals out of the last game of the season? Nah, that would have been funny if we did. But um, we came into the game. Uh, they were 84 77. And uh, it got game of the week. I thought that was like, that was the reason because uh, I guess we were like, I thought it was going to be for a playoff spot, but apparently it wasn't. So game meant nothing. Okay, but uh, it's it meant a lot to me because it's good to have this 100 win. Okay, let's go over the stats. Let's do it like this, actually. No, we're not starting the playoffs today. So proud of this team. This may be the proudest I've ever been in a regular season team. 6 3 war for Ronnie. There's his numbers, his slash. Willie Adamas making me look smart. When I got him in the uh, beginning of this thing, like the first day of the franchise, I wouldn't trade for Willie. I traded Nacho Alvarez and uh, Jared Kelnick. And uh, he wants to have the best year of his career because, of course, he did. In this stack lineup, how could he not? Matt Olson. Hell of a year. What can you say? Marcelo Zuna, just like he was in real life. Austin Riley, I love it because he never hits for power with me, but he had his uh, career high in home runs and RBIs. I love that. Randy Rosarena, he hit the walk off in the last game of the season that gave us our hundredth win. I love me some Randy Rosarena. The numbers don't pop up, uh, pop off at the uh, pop off the screen at you, but. He was a hell of a, a solid player. 3-3 war. He reached out with us on the cheap. Thank you, Randy. Ozzy just came back from injury. He was hot when he came back. I'm glad he's back now for the playoffs. Perfect timing on his part. Michael Harris, I'm, I'm not I'm not happy with these numbers. I'm just going to say it. First player I'm disappointed with on this list. OB picks it up next year and plays a lot better. He's <laughs> exactly 20 steals every year. But, uh, yeah, you got to do better. You got to do better. Um, I don't know how his, Contact is even so low after 293 and 297 in his first two years. His contact should be at least like a 90 against righties. Uh, Willie Castro was Ozzy's replacement while he was hurt. He played just like Ozzy. He was great. Two war. Thank you, Willie. Sean Murphy got to pick it up. Other player I'm disappointed with. Did not play to his potential at all. Lost 200 points on the OBS. Not happy with this. Kyle McCann happy with that. He'll be back next year. He's going to be our backup for a long time. Um, uh, he's pretty much Travis Arnold's replacement for the future. And uh, Travis, we got him signed up one more year because uh, when I signed him up for another year, I didn't have a backup catcher. So he uh, he'll be back next year at six mil a pop. And uh, yeah, he'll uh, his numbers aren't great anymore, but he's a good uh, good bat off the bench slash platoon guy. Brian Anderson signed up for two more years on the cheap. I love him as a utility guy. Anybody gets hurt, he comes right in. All right. Oh, I just said you to left that page. Good look at pitching next. All right. Um, I like this. Looking at it this way, it's nice and clean. Max Free, 200 strikeouts in his last uh, game. Chris Sale, 200 strikeouts. Spencer Shry, 200 strikeouts. I've never had um, three uh, starters with 200 strikeouts. So this is a, a big accomplishment. I think my best rotation ever. Uh, maybe my best bullpen ever. The ERAs don't look great, but look how few home runs we allowed this year. Nobody allowed double digit home runs. That was my goal coming into the year. We accomplished it. Right, so the Glazers had an ERA in the ones his best year. Uh, only get one home run all year. One home run. All right, is this it? Um, yeah, everybody was great. Um, so proud of this damn bullpen. All right, uh, those are the awards. I don't know if they've been handed out yet, but I, mean, I guess this is the final ranking. So, Chris Self is third in the MVP voting, but won't even win this. Wait, what? He's winning the Cy Young? Okay, cool. All right, Chris Hill is, is going to win the Cy Young. It hasn't officially been handed out, but it will be soon. Um, I thought he lost it because he choked. I guess Skeen choked too or 
Spencer Strider choked. Somebody choked. But um, it could have gone to uh, Spencer Strider or Chris Hale. But I love. I think they both finished exactly five war. Yeah, round up. But uh, yeah, it could have gone to either one. I guess you give it to Chris Hale. He was so good. I'm just glad he made, ooh, leave the year for a rise up. I'm just glad it makes sense. Because for Chris Hale would be third MVP voting and it not be uh, the Cy Young would have made no sense. So yeah, Cy Young is just like it is in real life. Shows how good this guy is in his ratings. Scoobo's going to win it and uh, Sale's going to win it. He's got to do a hell of a job with his roster. We get no other awards. Gold glove. I don't really care. There should be a gold glove for DH. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. That's it. Happy with this season. Go ahead and save. All right. Next video will be, um, I'm not sure, it's the official awards or playoff preview. We'll do something. All right. Thanks for watching.